Hello everybody and welcome to St. John Church Hyper Sunday School. I hope your week was great. So we are just here at Oxford Street, you know, enjoying the street light as you can see. Who knows what those light mean, in fact? What does light mean? What are we waiting for? Why do they put all those light over the street, do you think? Ah, for Christmas. And what is Christmas for Christian? We are getting ready, as you can see here, for baby Jesus coming. We are waiting for baby Jesus. Let's remind us our Bible story. So our Bible story today tells us to be ready for Jesus' return. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Father God, we thank you for your love. Thank you for taking care of us all this week. Help us to understand, Father, what we're going to read today and help us to put that into practice in our life for the glory of your name. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Our Bible story today is from the Gospel of Mark 13, from verse 24 to verse 37. It goes like this. But in those days, after that suffering, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light and the stars will be falling from heaven and the powers in the heavens will be shaken then they will see the son of man coming in clouds with great power and glory then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds from the ends of the earth to the end of heaven from the fig tree learn its lesson as soon as its branch becomes tender and puts forth its leaves you know that summer is near also when you see these things taking place you know that he is near and at the very gates truly i tell you this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place heaven and herb will pass away but my word will not pass away but about that day or hour no one knows neither the angels in heaven nor the son but only the father beware keep alert for you do not know when the time will come. It is like a man going on a journey when he leaves home and puts his slaves in charge, each with his work, and commands the doorkeeper to be on the wash. Therefore, keep awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come in the evening or at midnight or at cock crow or at dawn or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly and what i say to you i say to all keep awake the end that was our bible story today now what can we take from our Bible story. Today is the first Sunday of Advent. And Advent means to come. We are in a time for waiting for Jesus, both for Christmas, but also for his return. Jesus told us that he will come back again. And we should be alert, waiting for him to return so that all of us together will be in company with Jesus and spend everlasting life with him.
what should we do while we are waiting so we should worship jesus and praise him we should love and serve him and share his love with others we are also going to talk about the patriarchs and you have abraham you have isaac you have jacob you have enoch you have you know there are many so the patriarchs are those who lived by the light of faith for this advent let's be watchful and think about how we can start preparing to welcome the new king jesus it's like tidying up your room for example starting a new school year where you have to put things in place remove the old thing put them aside and put up the new thing and organize yourself so advent is the new church year where the church organized a lot of stuff around let's have hope high expectation and joy while waiting jesus to come again god of abraham and sarah and all the patriarchs of old you are our father too your love is revealed to us in jesus christ son of god and son of david help us in preparing to celebrate his birth to make our hearts ready for your holy spirit to make his home among us we ask this through jesus christ the light who is coming into the world amen thank you very much for watching have a wonderful week and see you next week bye bye and don't bye -bye. forget to subscribe and like